So when you look at it, this is the same graph, but in lines. So the orange is invocation. So the invocation you see is going, 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 going. And I started that at about 2053, the 2353, the first time, just before midnight, at about 15 minutes to 13 minutes past midnight, I decided to add auto scaling. And when you see at this auto scaling, even though the orange line continues straight and increasingly going, you know, like slightly going up in, uh, uh, linearly, then there's a sudden drop, the blue line in the number of polls per instance, which is goes 50, 50. But the important thing is the, that's the model latency. So at the same time that we added that, we added the second machine, the model latency just dropped massively. So as I did, you start with a single machine while you're running your experiment or sizing ex exercise, then you go and add more machines and see what happens. Now, was that the correct machine or definitely the wrong machine? The M3, definitely the wrong machine. Why? I'm using 260% CPU utilization, 2% memory utilization, 1.0. Six, disk utilization. That means I have to go and change my machine to from a memory optimized instance to a C5 or some sort of a, um, a CPU, uh, uh, basically compute optimized instance, because this is not very memory heavy. There is very little data. The Irish data set is a very tiny data set, and then we're using Scikit-Learn, and then we're using some model that is. Uh, not very memory heavy. It's not a, you know, like deep learning and that sort of stuff. So what we have, this, this one is telling us, go and change the type of the machine that you are using. And here you can also see over the course of time, every time there has been a uh, auto scaling event, there has been just a dimple in or a ding in the um, 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 auto scaling uh, sorry, in the CPU utilization, while it remains dramatically high, so it shouldn't be that high, the combination is telling us at no point did we do well. It's not about how many machines we had. Just adding a machine just gave us a tiny relief for a very short period of time. So that we know that this is not the correct type of machine. So let's go take a look at the demo. So we start our demo with command line. So in the command line, so what we have in here, we have, I have created something called demo. That is a directory. So inside that I do uh, sudo npm install dash g serverless. So since I have done that, I don't need to do that at once. Sorry, I don't need to do that anymore. And then I do the same thing for um, serverless artillery, make sure my Node.js is correct. But what's important is I do uh, SLS art uh, configure what it does. It does create a local copy of serverless for us. So if you look in here, you see these files are being added. So amongst the files that are being added is um, the serverless um, um, YAML file. You can see that here. So if we go here and take a look at the file itself. This is the one that I've already made changes to. So when it comes, it says 10.x, you have to change it to 14.x. And let's go change that one. So we do vim serverless YAML. And then that's the Node.js. We turn that into 14. Good. Get rid of it. And then the next thing we're going to do is to do SLSRT deploy. 
it is going to deploy some tests. I'm looking for dependencies and I'm going to stop that if I can. Yeah, I'm going to stop that. It's just going to deploy something in there. I'm going to show you what it deploys from what I've already created. And then we do SLSR uh, script. That it creates IRC cat script YAML. At this point, you can see this is quite empty. And then as we saw in the presentation, I went here and I added my configuration, my endpoint. Let's first things first. Let's see where this endpoint is coming from. So we go here, we go to uh, SageMaker. So first, first things first, we created an endpoint in SageMaker and SageMaker decision tree. This is what we created. And uh, that would be the endpoint that we have. And that would be the decision tree, the ID that we have, right? So, uh, and then we go to CloudWatch. Oh, uh, no, sorry. We go to um, CloudFormation. And what we have created in here is innovate load test. You can see in the output, we have this output placed in here. So, and we see what we have created in here in the resources. Oh, let's forget that. Let's go here to um, API Gateway. So in our API gateway, we have created a disintery API. We have a post and the post DT. So this is the prefix that we put in the script. And then this is the URL that we put in there. And we know that is going to call a Lambda function and the Lambda function in turn is going to call the model endpoint. Now, let's go back and take a look at the model endpoint. That's where actually we want to measure the load. Everything else is a proxy just to call that. So let's go back to Amazon SageMaker. And when Amazon SageMaker opens, we can go and take a look at the inference endpoints and uh, in the endpoints we open the endpoint we have created so we can take a look here that is the old traffic going to an m4x large and then the instance one to four so configure out scaling when we began this there was no value here and it was one to one there was no auto scaling and after 15 minutes of running I go and change these values in order to allow the system to run uh, basically um, on multiples of machines. Now, let's take a look at the total time that we spend and see what we have managed to achieve in here. So this is the total of the two hours. Every time there is a model latency, there is an auto scaling event. So the total invocation has kept going up, 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 up until it just went down. But you see that there has been a sense of constancy. Not really, you see, you see every time there's an auto scaling, it kind of reduces the number that it calls. So at some point you can see if it no longer goes linearly. So we, what we are doing in here is the errors, uh, sorry, the, uh, um, not the error, the latency, once again, I repeat, every time there's a spike in latency, we can see it corresponds to an auto scaling event by the blue line breaking down. So you can see that correlation. This is how it has gone. And then we can take a look at that. The course of the two hours from midnight to two o'clock in the morning, nothing has changed in here really. So um, the 
CPU usage has been massive, 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 massively high. Therefore, uh, that uh, sizing should be repeated by a um, uh, compute, uh, basically, um, 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 optimized um, 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 instance. And then you don't have to wait for two hours or, you know, you just go going back in here, see how many calls we've made. Uh, anyhow, the number of invocations we see here, anyhow, at the maximum is about 100,000 invocations. So we didn't have to wait for 100,000 invocations uh, before uh, realizing that was the wrong sort of machine. We could have kept an eye on this graph and by here, we would have known this is a really wrong machine because the first auto scaling event did nothing. So we could have stopped the experiment change the machine type and continue it again, perhaps even with two machines at the same time, uh, based on the load we were trying to give it. So that is pretty much what we can do. And um, I recommend that you take a look at uh, serverless and serverless artillery, but I would like you to be aware of something incredibly important that as of reInvent this year or last year now, uh, we introduced something called the um, um, instance recommendation. The, a lot of these things are done under the hood, so you don't have to do it yourself. You can use instance recommendation uh, whenever you can, unless there are scenarios that you, can, that you do not want to use it, then you can use it manually, like that I have shown you how, how to do it in here. Um, I recommend very much to go and take a look at the session for instance, recommend, recommend, recommend that because there is a session specifically dedicated to that. Uh, with that, I thank you and I um, 